What's up guys? Thank you for joining for this very episode and this is a talkative video about the future of Mega Pokemons and my thoughts on uh, what's going on. I did a Twitter post in this morning just stressing out my thoughts but realized that 160 symbols is not enough ever 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 enough it's never enough but the thing i wanted to get that and um, things that i am i'm not concerned it's the wrong word but i'm feeling like this time they really didn't care too much about the meta game i realized that the game reviewers um a show on in on youtube did a, an, an interview to the guys at game freak and ask their thoughts about the mega evolution and they say pretty much this that they wanted it to be to spice up the meta game they wanted to see which one are most used and how do you counter them etc etc and um yeah i can i can stand behind that statement i don't know if they actually decided to do it though because yes we got four i think four no five Pretty good Mega Evolutions that I can kind of like. That is Mega Sharpedo, Camaroth, Steelix, of course, uh, Glalie, and uh, Odino. Those fives are Pokemon that are not that powerful, needed some kind of boost, and I think they got what they deserve. Steelix is still lacking a lot. And oh, yeah, Pidgeot, all right. We got six Pokes then. But really, then we got like the Pokémon that might not have deserved it. Um, I'm being quite mean by saying that, but I mean, we have Mega Solomons, which outright got broken the very second it was created. And we got the primal forms of Kyogre and Groudon. Both of them, of course, are mascot Pokémon. I get that it is a marketing tool, but still, they are very much alive now. And of course, the Mega Rayquaza, which doesn't need an item to activate. It's just... Ugh. Well... <laughs> and then we got of course Mega Slowbro and among others. And what I wanted to get at with those statements and Wow well, Blade too, which is just awful. Uh, <laughs> but those Pokemon are yes, they are in some regards on other like fan favorites, the, the stronger Mega Pokemon. But the issue with that comes with stronger Pokemon that become Mega is that they were already strong, like the concept of them being even stronger is enough to not break the meta game, but it definitely limits it. And I mean, we got that issue with Mega Kangaskhan right off the bat, and Mega Kangaskhan, to be honest there, it really deserved a Mega Evolution because it was lacking, but it just got outrageously strong with that ability, didn't it? And um, yeah. That is like one of those things that you really need to reconsider how much stronger do you want to make a Pokemon. And for me at least, I mean, if they really, really look at uh, how much people are using uh, each Pokemon, then they should really go like Smogon do. Like they have already a um, data collection uh, ability for them uh, to see which Pokemon are the least used and stuff like that use that data to turn around the Pokemon that doesn't work, reinvent the Pokemon that already are established. I can't stress enough how many Gen 2, 3, even 1 Pokes that are from the get-go, not gonna say they suck because they aren't sucking in that regard, but they are definitely not Pokemon that have been in higher tiers anytime, ever. I mean, take Hypno for example, it's a Generation 1 Pokemon that it's dead. I mean, it's never worked and it never will work unless it gets something out of it. And uh, the data on that should really be very, very obvious that it should definitely happen something to it. That goes with Pokemon like Lunatune and Solrock too. Like, I feel like those Pokemon that are so unique by design but so limited should definitely like get. They should get the cold. Shouldn't get the cold shoulder. And I really think that Game Freak should take a look at the Pokemon that are. That are lacking because if you just keep making the stronger Pokemon stronger, then when we get around to making the Pokemon that really need to make evolution, when they get that, it's already too late. There are already too many top threats, and um, I kind of see this already. And I think we're roughly around 50 mega evolution of these 700 Pokemon out of I think 460 of full evolution, something like that. But really, that means that one eighth, one ninth of every fully evolved Pokemon got a Mega Evolution and 
it's kind of scary because we already know there are so many Pokemon that needs a Mega Evolution or needs a stronger evolution to even surpass what they are right now. I can just, I mean, Wall Wall Rain, for example, uh, a Dugon copy from the first generation, basically much bulkier, um, has some good move pool, but got one of those awful typings. Why did that not get a Mega Evolution? It definitely needs it. It's it's rarely used. I mean, it's it's definitely something else, and I can kind of see Pokemon like that get the boost. I would desire something like that. I can see the meta game changing because of a convention like that. And that goes for, I'm gonna say it's my one of my favorite Pokemon, Tropius. I never got why that Pokemon really got the cold shoulder. It really needs some type of bulk. And that goes for, I think, Castrum too. Because that is also like Solar Rock Luna Tune. It's a very designful and very thought out gimmick Pokemon that just, it will be forgotten because of um, its lack of, um, of offensive pressure or defensive pressure. So, yeah, that, those are basically my thoughts about it. I really, I, I'm scared that Game Freak will take that fan favorite, the stronger Pokemon that are most used, and think that they are most used because people like them, and it, it's half the truth, it really is. I think most of people are using the stronger Pokemon because uh, if they can't use them, or if they don't use them, they lose. Uh, it is that simple, and I really think that looking at them critically and see why are people using them instead of how to make this Pokemon even more attractive um, is something worth uh, thinking about, at least for Game Freak and for future installments of uh, the Pokemon, because Mega Evolution is such a new concept still. Don't mess it up with well, the obvious things that are going to be that if you have too many Pokemon that are, like I said, already strong and become stronger, then the weaker Pokemons are they're not gonna make it, they are gonna be forgotten, and um, I really don't like seeing a lot of Pokemon that I, I like, of course, of my own, uh, seeing them go. Given Lupin and Mega Evolution, that, that is the way to do it. The Pokemon that are really used should definitely get a step up, and make them like you did there. Make them... Make them game-changing. Make their whole being game-changing. Like Pidgeot, nice also, because it became a special sweeper. Yes, it doesn't have any good offensive attacks besides Hurricane and Heat Wave and I think Hyper Voice. But really, it's kind of changing the pressure of what that Pokemon was created for. And I can appreciate that and I can see it working in the long run because now it got two offensive planes to go at. So, yeah, that is basically my thoughts about it. It really turned out to an 8-minute video, so it's not supposed to be that long. It really wasn't. But, I really, if you guys have a different of opinion, or you want to just stress your opinion, then write it down below. Like I said, I really just want to see more weaker Pokémon getting a Mega Evolution, because I feel that we have two runs now with stronger Pokémons getting stronger, and it can turn ugly really fast, it really can. I really hope that this is something that they have stressed at Game Freak, or at least that some someone mentioned it and trying to implement some better ideas. I mean, I'm just one person and uh, I'm definitely not an OU player, so what the hell do I know, right? But I can only stress so much, of course. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you as always for watching, and don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and have a good day and take care and remember the sky is the limit. Bye.